Okay, I want to spend a few moments looking at uh, how you can view the assessment data from the seventh grade mini. And so you go to your dashboard, and from there you would click on, um, in this case, seventh grade mini because I have this teacher set up uh, as a seventh grade teacher so they can view the seventh grade data. Click on that. From there you need to go to quizzes. And since this is the only one we've taken so far, 7th grade BOY, you can click on that. Okay. First thing I want to do is take a quick look at statistics. So if you click on statistics, you'll see that it populates with the entire grade level. So you can see the entire grade level uh, scored an average of 52%, high of 100%. Uh, somebody scored a zero or might maybe more than one. And so that gives you that information. And then as you start to scroll down the page, you can see uh, individual questions which line up with the learning goals. And so here the first question did pretty good, 88%, 91%. We get down to the third question. Uh, we see that uh, we've dropped to 38%. Common error here, many of the kids just said, okay, it's one space or one line past the two, so it's 2.1. Uh, not taking the time to realize there's only five spaces between the two and the three, so the value of each space would be 2.2, uh, or 0.2, and the total value would be 2.2. Uh, and sometimes things like that are just a, a quick error to correct, reminding kids, you know, hey, you have to pay a little bit better attention. Uh, other times, might need to reteach something uh, on a little bit longer basis, but that's the quiz summary and the information you can get from it. You can also look at uh, individual data. So we'll go to a teacher here and we'll see that their average was 64%, still a high score of 100%, a low score of 19% in this class. And again, can scroll down to see each question. Uh, did pretty well on the first one, second one, again, the third one, uh, several of them missing and using that response of 2.1 instead of 2.2. One of the other things you can do, uh, you can click on an individual question right here where it says two respondents. If you click on that, you'll see the names of the students uh, that got that question wrong. So maybe you want to go over something with a specific student or just know who's missing those types of questions. Besides the uh, quiz summary, let's go back to quizzes and BOI. There's also some information you can get from the speed grader. Now, while the speed grader is loading, um, I notice I have the student names blocked out here. You, you don't have to do that. That's an option right here in the wheel. Uh, since I'm posting this online, I'm not going to show any student names. Okay, but uh, you could have student names show up, and you can see that uh, again. You can show all section at all sections so that you could view the entire grade level's responses, but chances are you're going to want to look at your class. So you can just click on your name. That'll filter out all the rest of the students and only show yours. And as they load, you'll see that there are 70 in this class, uh, 73 total, but three did not take the test. You'll see a check mark here to indicate the test has been taken and is graded. Uh, you would see a circle there if it's not graded. And as we scroll down to number 71, you can see that there's nothing at all if there is no response. Okay, so let's go back to a student that has responses. And again, you're just going to see one question at a time. Uh, correct answer, and they got it correct. Correct answer, and they got it correct. Uh, here we go. So here's one where um, it shows what their answer was and it shows what the correct answer was. So that's uh, helpful if you're trying to look up student tests. You can also, comment since you have teacher rights, you can add comments uh, to students if you just want to put in a quick reminder um, of why they got it wrong, how they got it wrong, or that they did a good job, whatever. Um, but you can add comments to the assignment. Another thing that you might want to be aware of is that this bar across the top uh, indicates the questions. So if you're looking for results on a specific question for each student, uh, you can go forward or backward one student at a time. 
and then just click to say question 12 if you want to look at say what their responses were as a whole for question 12. So now I'm going to go back to the assessment one more time and this time to do that you can just click up here that'll take you back to the assessment. I'm going to go again to quiz statistics and you have two choices here student analysis and item analysis uh, again just to, to save a little time let's go to a specific teacher so that it does not take us long to generate the request and once this is clicked on it says report is being generated and shortly you will see um, the download from that report and that report has shown up it's down here in an Excel file and you can click on that it will open up Excel and that will give you uh, some real good information look at um, column J here which represents question one and you can see responses from various students question two you can see which one they chose uh, where they got it right where they got it wrong see all those 2.1s uh, for this question so we can quickly see that that really was uh, the main answer here a student chose three so maybe that particular student you would want to look at and say okay we need to uh, find out why you put a three and uh, why you thought that was a three obviously maybe just because it was one tick past the two but having that discussion of well there's a three further on down the road so this is a great place to look at those uh, specifics and uh, there's also the item analysis and we'll go to that here in just a second so here we have the item analysis and one thing you'll notice is that uh, there are only four items that are on this item analysis and that's because this test only had four multiple choice questions it, it can't and it doesn't have an analyzing a way to analyze the uh, fill in the blanks or numerical answer questions so uh, maybe not going to get quite as much information from this one, but if you do a complete multiple choice test, that might be something you're interested in looking at. But those are your two choices when it comes to data from this. And of course, we'll be looking at more data in our team meetings. Hope that helps. Have any questions? Um, get with me. If I can't answer them right away, we'll figure out what we need to do to get them answered.